What's up guys? Saturday morning. Actually it's one o'clock. It's been a fuck day already. Uh, locked my keys in the car last night. Had to call. call a tow truck to come out, put a balloon in my door, pop it open, get my keys out. Brought the tires down for the bird to get mounted and balanced. I found out they sent me way too big of tires for the back. Fuck. First order of the day, 25 bucks, 14 items, 14 miles. Fuck it, I'm gonna take it. This is gonna cover one tire getting broke down, mounted, balanced. I'm gonna cover gas for the day. Just a complete shit show every day. <laughs> That's my best quality, just being a shit show. So. Um, gonna run in here, grab this order. T's on her way down with the other tires. We'll drop them off at discount. And booty on it. Get her tires mounted and balanced. Run some orders go home, get them mounted on the car and see where we're at. We may have to roll the fenders, which I don't know. I've watched a few videos. There's definitely a right way in it. A wrong way to do it. So, we'll catch you guys in the next delivery. What's up, guys? So, we got our rims and tires picked up. It's definitely fixable. I'm going to drop it off at Cargill's and Harrison to get welded up. Come back on Monday to get them remounted and balanced. Um, half the town's without power. So that means half the town's without cell phone service. So I lost a good $30 order. I got this one, $9, 4.2 miles. I'm going to make the best of it and then balance. What's up, guys? Uh, I got a nice one here. It might take a couple minutes for them to get the food together, but that's all right. Now, $14 for five miles. How do the Booger King? Arrived at the store. Give them a few minutes to get their order together. Oh, excuse me. Catch you on the next one, guys. Alright, we got that shopped for. Right here, order B. Order A. And order C is back there in the trunk. <laughs> so, yeah. Not bad. I almost had a breakdown. But, you know. We, we pulled it off. It's a little stressful sometimes. So, yeah. I'm going to deliver these. And uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Hey guys, six o'clock, Saturday evening, and I'm tapping out. Yeah, it's been a shit show of a day. I'm gonna at least go enjoy my evening. We gotta be back here all day tomorrow, anyways. So.
had a really good day. I took five deliveries and made a hundred bucks. That's pretty bomb. That's real bomb. I'm gonna have to buy myself some new shoes so I can efficiently do these orders a little better. Um, hey dudes, just ain't cutting it no more. Yeah, I'm gonna go turn my day around. Drop this rim off to get fixed. And make the best of it. That's all I can do. Get your dog a meat stick. Get your grandma a silicone meat stick if she's into those kind of things. And most importantly, number one. Take care of yourself, your mental health. I need you guys daily. And it don't hurt to put yourself number one. You can't take care of anybody else unless you take care of yourself, period. So on that note, I appreciate you guys very much. I hope to see you guys back here tomorrow. Have a good night. One last clip for the day, guys. Well, we got a minute. You ever just feel like you can't get out of your own way some days? whole two weeks now, two weeks, I spent all last week trying to get the money for these wheels and tires. Oh. Finally come up with the money, I get down there. The guy let me put him on my car, knowing I was going to need spacers. Sold them to me, knowing they were 14 year old tires. Now I tried doing my research to see if I need spacers, if they fit. Uh, a few people sent me pictures of their car with V rims on their car. Oh, yeah, good to go. So I didn't even think any further into it. Otherwise, I would have been more prepared or just found some different rims. So, we left the front tires on. We made it about 70 miles before we had a blowout. This was last Saturday. Put the old tires back on. We made it home about 2 a.m. Last Sunday we came and dashed. I was wore out, but we spent a whole day down here. I busted my ass all week. I got another set of tires to go on the rims. I get down here today to get them mounted and balanced. I come to find out there's a crack in the rim. So now I'm taking it to Cargill's. And he's going to weld it. I'll come back next week. Bring my tire down. Get it mounted and balanced. This morning, before 
I even left the house. Somehow my doors got locked last night. Shut the doors, locked my keys in the car. Son of a bitch, you know? And now here I am going home like two hours early. And I just feel like a failure. Like, no matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, life's just gonna right in the butt, you know? But, I'm here. I'm trying. I haven't gave up yet. And that's the main thing. My kid knows I'm struggling, and he hasn't seen me give up yet. That, that's a life lesson right there in itself. It's just really discouraging, you know? For one, there can't be honest people in the world. For two... I guess I'm not smart enough to check some things out that need to be checked out. So there's a little bit of humility there involved, you know? We'll get back at it. Thank you guys for listening to me ramble. I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope that if you're struggling, you have the drive to just keep going no matter what. 